it works. For this Sophie Plus tutorial, uh, you're going to need the tag editor. And I will have that in the link down in the description below. First of all, I'm going to quickly build the stop request. For now, this tutorial will focus on doing the physical buttons by clicking the button. And soon I'll do the GUI for the next video. Now that I got the stop request built, what we're going to do is now I'm going to add the clip detectors to them. And pretty much you want to put them on the stop request button, just like so. And I just pretty much go to copy and paste it towards all the others. Now that we did that, now we're going to use that plugin, the tag editor. And what we're going to do is we're going to select all the sub request buttons and the course we want to press on. Pretty much we're going to tag them. So just press on tag. So yeah, just press on tag window. Then we can just add a new tag to them. And I'm going to name this sub request. Just press the check mark and we're good on that. Just need to quickly put the course into the body of the bus. So let me go ahead and do that quickly. There we go. So now that we did that, it's going to group all of the sub request things together just so I don't lose them. So I'll just name this sub request group. Just like so. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to be adding a script to it. Just going to change this to press button for the script. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get collection service. So we're going to do local collection service equals game guest service collection service and now that we did that what we're going to do is we're going to use the for i v in pairs for this and pretty much we're going to go through all those soft request buttons and cores in order to get the click detectors from them so for i v pairs collection service and pretty much we're going to get the tag and since we named this to sub request i'm going to put sub request in there and i can just do do so now we're going to do v dot click detector dot I'm going to quickly check what I'm supposed to put on the next one, since I forgot. So yeah, I went through and checked what the event I was looking for, and the one I was looking for was mouse click. So what I'm going to do is add in mouse click, connect, function, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add in the sound to this bus. So I think for now I'm going to add the sound towards this roof part. So let's do that. I'm going to go to my toolbox. Go quickly rename that to roof. And I'm just going to add in the audio onto that roof. Let's just go 
for... Stop requested. Yep, I'll see. I'm gonna go with this audio, actually. He stopped requested. So now I, that, that I got that, it's going to change this one to... Now, now I could change it to stop requested. As I could do that. Stop requested sound. Just to make that simple. And now that we did that. I'm gonna get the sound from that one. So I'll do local sound equals script dot parent dot parent dot roof dot stop requested sound. So now that I did that, I can do sound play. And what should happen now is whenever I click any of these stop request button or the chords, it should play that sound for stop requested. So now if we test this out. It should work the way it intends it. Yep, and as you can see, it does play that sound. Stop request it, just like so. Now that we got that part working, let's get to building the thing above where it shows you stop request sign. I don't know what they call it, but let me just quickly build that part. So let's just go ahead and take this roof again. Let's go ahead and bring this down. Yep, this size should be fine. So now what I'm gonna do is I can just change the color of it just to make it easier to see. Let's change it to this color, like black. Now like more like a gray color, somewhere right here. Next, what we're going to do, I just need to change the name of this to, since this is the interior, I want people to see this. Let's do announcer or right here. This will be the announcer and we're going to have our text label on here, so just go add in surface GUI, then the text label. Now I just need to change the position of it, just so we can see it. There we go. Now that we did that, I'm just going to fill it up. Let me just change the size of it to just see 111, just so that it fills it up. One zero one zero, just like so, and then I can change the text label size just to text scale so it automatically does it for us. And now that we got that up, I'm going to change the color of it to orange, and I also go to change the transparency of it to more of an invisible color. And this one will be the our stop request sign right here. So now what we can do, since we have our press button working, after the sound plays, we're going to get our announcer. So we go get local announcer equals script dot parent dot parent dot announcer. Uh, surface UI dot X label. So we got that part done. And now what we can do is we could do announcer dot text equals up requested. Just like so. So now if we were to test this out, I just need to quickly anchor the course so that they'll be fine. So now if I test this out, and when I press the button, 
the label up there will show stop requested. We go to the site and test this out. It works. So that's well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that short tutorial for the physical buttons. And I do have another video you can watch to know more on how to create that chassis for your bus if you have been in trouble with that.